All right. After being bitten by a radioactive bird, somewhat mannered T. -t -t Tut Hill uh, feels compelled to become Kinius. The Sky Dude, TGIF, folks. Welcome to episode 11, May 26th, 2023. Ah, we had some blue skies today. Had. Uh, I'm just getting in late. I had other transportation jobs that needed tending to today. All the way up in Denver. You know. Can't say I've ever really looked up and noticed that there was two little windows there. This whole time. Yeah. Don't really look. You know, there's really no need to look up and out the window I mean there's asteroids coming down oh man almost at 2000 you know despite uh, all the setbacks that we've had boy and we have had some haven't we it's been nuts it's like we got a was this here the whole time too the the accelerometer thing this uh, whatever this is can't say as I've really ever I, I I swore we had uh, another dial I'm not sure what's going on we had a VOR 2 so we could do triangulation and it looks like they've upgraded our plane with an accelerometer I don't even have, know how to use that Seeing something digital in here seems really out of place at the moment. I don't know. Yeah, they they took it our they've taken out our nav too. Well, that's mighty strange, your viewers. And uh, just comes out of the blue. All right, well let's uh, let's get going and see what kind of money we can make before too long today. We're at one hundred and eighty-one thousand nine hundred twenty-six. Boy, yesterday was frustrating, and they've all every day has been uh, every day of the week. This last week has been frustrating. We're trying to do new things, and nothing seems to work. The uh, we were able to successfully do a. Uh, an emergency mission and land and then solve that but then the search and rescue one uh went upside down or sideways and that didn't work we still haven't uh been able to figure out how to make the advertising ones work and so it's probably just going to be back to kind of what we were doing you know shuffling between so let's find out where these are at that's up in the mountains no way no way too dangerous way too dangerous way but when I was uh flying in here earlier just like 15 20 minutes ago uh, I saw a double rainbow so the title art the cover art or whatever if you want a will for the uh for the episode if you look really closely there's a double rainbow all right so 4289 to Pueblo probably the one we're gonna make the most money on we did learn that if we don't have a lot of cargo and we have extra cargo space we can increase the weight to maximum and get a better bonus I'll show you okay so let's take this and see if uh come in dispatch come in dispatch oh that's not good Right off the bat, please, no problems today. No problems. Dispatch isn't there. So, something's wrong. Let's find out what it could possibly be. Are we at the right airport? KFCS, yes, we are. Um, Let me turn off the airplane. Uh, and then I'm going to have to the job back out and hope that was our big one um hmm. 
just pick another one and uh, we'll, we'll cancel it. We give me a dispatch. She's not there. All right, let's uh, let's restart our Sky Dudes app and see if we can uh, make contact with them. We're at the, we're at the right airport. Still don't understand what happened with the plane. Very strange. So please, uh, please, uh, Sky Lords, we don't want to deal with a bunch of problems. We just want to get to work and get things taken care of today. All right, loading back in. And let's cancel this one out. Something's wrong. The aircraft is already at the pilot location. Yeah. Our plane's fine. Uh says we have no fuel here, but we have fuel. Uh, Neopad, that is set up. That's uh, that's working fine. Okay. Hmm. I don't. I think there's an audio setting for this. We'll check. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't believe it's anything to do with. Did we change something in the sound settings yesterday? We were messing with sound. Voices are up. Voices are on. Change the music. That was it. Do, 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 do. No, we didn't change anything in here. User interface. Yeah.
Hmm. Well, what's the fine? How do you do? We're completely broken. Got the right. Oh, uh huh. No wonder. I see what happened here. It switched to the Aerobat, or we accidentally, I accidentally switched to the Aerobat. But it didn't point that out in the menu. If that's all it is, great. Great. Welcome back, Captain. Yay, the there she is. is perfect for flying. Weather's not perfect for flying, Elena, but it'll do. You are clear to start your engine. Yeah, thank you. Uh it was really pretty earlier. We finally had some blue sky. All the uh the smoke from the Canadian wildfire seems to be gone. And uh but now the late afternoon thunderstorms are coming back in. But that's fine. We need you know, we need the moisture here. So I'll never complain about uh the moisture, my friends. So now I know. If I ever see that digital accelerometer again, that's why we're in the Aerobat and we're not in the standard 152. Okay. That's all it was. This is a little dark. Turning this one on. Okay, don't need you just yet. Take the primer. I probably need to open the fuel line first. Ah, uh, music to our ears. Taxi to the runway and take off. But I still, we need, we'll still need to shut it down because we can't, uh, can't get loaded. Not like drunk loaded. Like we can't get our plane loaded unless we have the engines off. Well, good. There's still another. Four thousand dollar run to Pueblo. Four two eight nine. All right. Before we do that, let's check our our payload here. Make sure it's empty. And now let's get this. Transporter from dispatch. You must deliver <sighs> express packages before the deadline. This time, don't waste time. Transporter from dispatch. Loading express packages. Please stand by. I don't think you've seen me waste time once. And in, in my opinion, I don't believe I've wasted any time ever. Okay, so now close this and keep an eye on this. Okay, pilot. The mail packs are good to go. By my calculations, you should just make it on time. Very nice. Okay. Uh, uh, always a distraction. I have a call coming in. One moment. Hello. Oh, that is, that is quite all right. I was calling.
Okay. Sorry about that. Distractions, distractions. And this one, we need to hurry up and get there. So we need to get 518 pounds in there, but if we can get anything over 518, we get a bonus. So come in here, rub our weight. Uh, not going to get much of a bonus on this one. Can't even make it. We need to... What? We need to drop fuel to get our required payload. So we're not going to get any bonus on this. No, we'll get plus 16. And that's enough fuel to get there. But we'll take what we can get. And we better get going. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Lunch round, Kitty is 2-1 ready to taxi departure to the south. Kitty is 2-1 taxi to and hold short of runway 13 using taxiway Bravo. Contact tower on 125 decimal 5 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 13. Taxiway Bravo, Kitty is 2-1. Unless we have a major setback, we should at least hopefully get be able to get to two two hundred thousand today. Maybe. But Tower Kinias two one ready at runway one three south departure. Kinias two one altimeter three zero decimal one zero wind one two two at five. South departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway one tree. One two two at five. Cleared for takeoff runway one tree. Kinias two one. A little bit of wind in her face, but five five knots ain't much. At one twenty two, so a little bit of a gust from the east. We're heading that way, so. Probably see about putting a little bit more mix in. Look like we're running a little light. Yeah, that's better. Transporter, good flight. All right, and we. Need to be approximately going to. We're setting one five one. Probably aiming at that marker there. So we were having fun yesterday using the flight planner and doing uh, distance and time calculators. This one uh, about. 17 minutes but on this route we've been making it in a shorter amount of time than that to get our nose whoa I said let's try to get our nose down and build up some speed Eek. building up speed all right Probably the fastest we've ever got this plane to go. Hey, if you're out and about and you're stopping in, hey, one, thank you for taking a minute out of your day to check in on uh, further adventures of 
young budding Kenny a sky dude trying to become sky dude it's been very frustrating I've almost quit gotta tell ya uh So when you say that you want to do a career mode, be prepared. I do need to make some time to try to get over there and talk to the gentleman who created this in Discord and maybe share some thoughts. Maybe there's a way to, um, I don't know, maybe make it a little bit more casual. And maybe set up some options that, you know, are not so, you don't have to be so hardcore about going through everything. Like if I just wanted to switch it up today and show you folks for airliner missions, we could, you know, just open them, open it all up. So we don't have to grind and grind and grind and grind and, you know, do everything that they supposedly want us to do. I don't know. What? What? Thing sure looks so much nicer when it's a little bit overcast or the end of the day. You know, everything, not, every, it, everything doesn't seem so washed out. And get a little bit of color in things. Come on, bring the rain. You're gonna come in like that, bring some rain with you. Zero zero three seven. Oh, Roger Kinias two one. We need to change our altimeter three zero zero two. I was saying thank you for taking a minute out of your day to check in on me and see how I'm doing uh nobody's really been other than uh an old friend nemesis chicken gamer extraordinaire 
he's been the only one to stop in and say hello in the chat so far so don't be shy please uh come in and say hi and like and subscribe so i know that uh that you have so i can immediately run over and like and subscribe stuff on your channel help each other out a little bit yeah that is our marker What are your plans this weekend? We got hit up with a bunch of plans. We actually had to turn down some. Everybody decided this is the weekend that everybody wanted to barbecue. And hang out. But he times all their same their stuff at the same time. It's unfortunate, you have to turn anybody down. Ten miles out. Go ahead and get it called in. Pueblo Tower Kinias two one is one zero miles northwest six thousand four hundred feet with Quebec to land. That's the first time I think they've had us come in while we've been doing these on runway eight. It's usually been 17, I think, and 26. If we're gonna make some of these landings a little bit nicer today kind of not uh, not really in the groove yesterday I just uh, just couldn't seem to 
Put it down gently. Not in the groove. Traffic was heavy, heavy both directions today, Memorial Weekend. Everybody's already moving around. Couldn't even speed today. Actually, what my boss says, I'm not, I'm usually the one who's very, very, uh, law abiding and uh you know because i can listen to music which we, unfortunately we can't do here and i could but you wouldn't be able to hear it um but you know when i'm on the road i mean again i got the music and there's no you know no need to the speed my boss on the other hand kind of throwing him under the bus a little bit but he is a lead, a lead foot. He has a lead foot. I can start out 15 minutes ahead of him, and he'll still beat me to our destination. I. Then he'll tell me, yeah, man, I stopped for lunch and there was, the line was long and round the building and and you still beat me. Uh, what? How? Well, I know how. I just, I don't want to think about it. That kind of speed. That is too dangerous. See, that was that was his comment today. The roads were so busy he couldn't even couldn't even speed.
touchdown. I should probably recalibrate. It could be the weight we're, we're holding that's throwing us around like that. But... She's all over the place. Hard to keep her straight. Pulling super hard to the left. If I let go, she's just swinging way out. Transport from dispatch. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. While it's doing that, I'm gonna go <clears throat> uh, calibrate the joystick. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo was picked up by the customer. Your mission is completed. Let's go. One moment, please. Okay, uh, one, eight, six, seven, six, eight. Okay, so what's the next big one here? Is there's a four or three back to PCOS? Two. If these, that's out there, seven. Oh, that looks dangerous. Wicked dangerous. Nope. Not even a chance. Nope. Okay. So 4303. Back to KCOS. Transporter from dispatch. It's a sensitive cargo mission today. When you check the payload in the flight plan, please release the parking brake to start. Transporter, loading has started. Stand by. <laughs> Oh, good. They only want 391 pounds on this one, so we do have a lot of room for uh, bonus.
flight crew, be advised the fragile cargo looks extremely delicate. We have secured it the best we can. Please taxi with caution. Okay. We just keep adding. What can we get to? 100 plus 153. Take it. <clears throat> Sounds good. Ground Kinias 2 1 with Quebec request taxi to the active north departure. You're good to go. Contact the tail. Let's see if Steve's awake today. Uh oh. Okay. Now, I don't know why it does that. That's another bug. This is a big deal. If it does this to you, you're messed up. It's going to mess up the whole mission. That mission we just got assigned, it's shot now. Why? For whatever reason, it's it's doing this where it it suddenly just ends the mission. Okay. Uh, so if you hit continue... It'll act like nothing's changed and we're still on track. But let me tell you, it it's not. It's not going to work. It is going to bug. And I think the only thing you can do is exit out and make sure that you re... This is a drag. But all I did is switch on the AI pilot and it shut it down. So another thing I'm going to have to report... Uh, I honestly think you have to go back out and make, you know, make everything sync again. So we'll go out to the main menu and we'll turn off NeoFly and restart it. Uh, all right, set us K pub. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that we've been dealing with all week long. Just these little, little problems, but they all have been adding up to, you know, push the frustration levels with this title through the roof. And I didn't know that, you know, that we could have loaded uh, NeoFly version 3. I thought, you know, like anything else, you you get the latest version. So they're like, well, this is the pre-release version, and it might be buggy. Hmm. It certainly is. It it certainly, certainly is. And all of that, all these little issues uh have had me seriously considering just just walking away or waiting a couple more months. Well, let's cancel this. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. Good morning. Re good morning to you. So, you know, again, if you're going to stick to it, you got to just stay positive because so frustrating. Hey, there's still a 4 2 back to Springs. Two hundred fifty-nine in fees. Transporter from dispatch. You must deliver express packages before the deadline. Don't waste time. Transporter from dispatch. Loading express packages. Please stand by.
Transporter. Cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. You're good to go. Contact the tower for clearance. Hey, where are we? Wait, was again? Uh, 433 78 well not the bonus we're gonna get but it is what it is it's all you can do just you know just grin and bear it just it just either you're gonna quit or you're not and you know i don't want to we'll see how next week goes but they have had me so frustrated this week that yeah i'm like oh, well then i don't i don't want to be a sky dude no more forget it forget it forget it this is what it's going to be now. Too many bugs. Pueblo Ground, Kinias, 2 1 request taxi for departure to the north with Quebec. Kinias, 2 1 taxi to and hold short of runway 8 right via taxiway Charlie Alpha cross runway 26 left Bravo cross runway 35 Bravo Alpha. Contact tower on 119 or decimal 1 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 8 right via taxiway Charlie Alpha cross runway 26 left Bravo cross runway tree 5 Bravo Alpha Kinias 2 1. So once you get your clearance and you repeat it back, it's locked in. We've been cleared. Okay, this is all I did last time that caused the bug. I did that. I turned on AI piloting and it freaked out and canceled and went to a shutdown. Steve, go. I don't know how how long I'm going to make it with this title. I don't know. Eleven uh, live streams so far. This is episode eleven, and uh, just doesn't feel like we've gotten very far. And then I did a, a third qualifying. mission yesterday and that didn't give us didn't give us our third star I'm talking about us here Do these qualifying missions and we did another one we qualified for the uh, savage cub yesterday and uh, This doesn't show. I really want the, uh, we're going to keep doing a lot of these bread and butter missions. I really wanted to get this plane next. Uh, we're looking at 288 at least oh does that one have the g1000 yeah here's one g1000 353,000 i was hoping by this weekend we would have been up here but 
Yeah, and the um, you watch any of the episodes through the week, just oof. setback, 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 setback. Whatever you do, God forbid, don't crash. You will hate life. The cost to repair the plane are worth more than the the, the way cost way more than the plane is worth. This first plane you get, you can only sell for. All these are super expensive, but you want to sell your plane twenty five thousand dollars. That's that's just not right either. Let's see how much a, a one fifty two on the market is. Yeah, sixties, eighties, but what we can only sell ours for twenty five. That's that's garbage, right? Because if you come to your hangar and you try to sell your plane, yeah, twenty five. Thousand. What? How come we're getting the short end? No wonder they have loans in here. But yeah, so I made some mistakes this weekend and uh, had a couple of setbacks where. Uh, Trying to do an emergency mission and he hit a bump and then Steve crashed the plane on a taxi. Taxi, he was taxiing. He hadn't even made it out to the runway and he crashed. So anyway, if you end up having to hit these buttons to fix your plane, the cost of the repairs yesterday, and it wasn't major, major, major. The plane wasn't destroyed, but the cost for the repairs was around thirty six thousand dollars like everything that we had made this week pretty much well a good chunk so um if you are constantly backing things up best thing you could do is just back up it's a good idea after every time you land come down to your settings this is where they have the backup your progression so uh, I can't stress enough back up frequently because you're gonna blow your top cost repairs just to tune up the engine is ridiculously expensive so I was at like 89% on my engine to tune it up and it was a six thousand dollar tune-up come on man and they made Steve go all the way around He's pulling out like he's me or something. Oh, look at him go. He's frustrated too. I get it, Steve. It's. See if he can keep it straight today. No, he's already. I can, he's been pulling real hard. We did calibrate. That helps him at all. But he's been going real wide right. Last week he went off the runway entirely. Or already seems like last week. It was earlier in the week. I want to say like Monday. 
it's all starting to blur together. Transporter, good flight. got to be really careful when you switch them off because it doesn't keep the plane level at all it will immediately drop let me show you okay so when I turn them off it's gonna immediately drop so you need to quickly get your hand back to your joystick and make sure you don't plummet Just head north, can't mess up. And feel the weight. Tower Kinia's 2 1 frequency change. Denver Center Kinia's 2 1 is type Cessna 152, 5 miles north of Pueblo, 5,800 feet. Request flight following. Two nine nine seven.
Come on, little doggy, let's cross this prairie. Oh, so other aircraft, again, I get, you know, the more you uh, advance, the better paying jobs you get, but we're looking at the cost of a helicopter, $2 million. Same thing with the Cessna Caravan, $2 million. I really can't stop the the porpoising going on. She's just rocking up and down. Can't seem to get her straight today. Again, it's probably just all this weight, and then we got the engines open wide and just all over the place. And this corridor is no notorious for micro bursts.
Looks like we're losing a little too much altitude. You remember the movie The Adventures of Remo Williams? Chun tells Remo, You move like a pregnant yak. That's how this plane feels at the moment. So much weight. What happens when I turn on? Uh, let's wait till we get into a more downward position. What I want to do is I get us somewhat balanced and turn on Steve again, but he tends to pitch the plane up. Uh, not so bad today. At least he can keep it straight. Sorta. Of. But he's gonna slow you down. So if you engage your AI, and he's slowing down more. Yeah. This is why I haven't been using him too much he tends to want to kind of 
Keep the nose pitched up. And as soon as you... <laughs> as soon as you set up your landing... Like I'm about to do now... He immediately goes into landing mode. So if I would have taken off from Pueblo and turned in this direction and set him and then contacted Colorado Springs and set up my landing, he immediately goes into landing mode. So he will he would fly extremely slow all the way here. And I don't know why he's doing that. So Colorado watch, Springs as soon as we get clearance to land, he'll, he'll start, he'll start slowing land. down and dropping flaps and... We're gonna make us go around. See, here he goes. And here's fine, but again, if we would have set this up right outside of Pueblo, he would have done the same thing. to drop the flaps and, and flown entry level speed the whole way here so unless you're in unless you're in uh you know no hurry you have just a mission where it's casual and it, you're not under a time constraint and you don't want to course correct the whole way and yeah at least he's landing earlier in the week he didn't want to land I would get all set up for the landing like this and he'd act like everything was fine and then he gets over here to the gates and then he would turn away and just no, I'm not gonna land. No, no, I ain't gonna do it. I don't know why he was doing that earlier in the week. Just don't. But he snapped out of it. And uh, he he did some pretty decent landings midweek. So I guess I can say if you have been playing uh, flight with Flight Simulator since it came out and you've done everything and you know done everything that pretty much is to do then yeah this this might be for you if you've if you're brand new to Flight Simulator and you're thinking about jumping into something like this and you haven't really spent time enjoying all the other things about flight simulator or just doing lots of hours and other planes and you know learning practicing everything else then i don't know maybe i would definitely say this is for a person who's kind of done it all already 
and you're looking for something new. Because at this rate, it's going to be a long time if I just keep going with this. It's going to be a long time until I can get back to doing things that I like to do, like the passenger planes, the airliners, you know, and then we're going to have to buy an airliner. And those are like 60, 64 million or more, you know, so, so I don't know. I don't know how far I'm gonna take this at all. It could be one of those ones where I'm just gonna have to, uh, it's eating up every minute of time that I have to. Uh, that, that every minute that I have. You, you know, you've, as soon as I wake up, try to grind a little bit <clears throat> before I take off, and then as soon as I get back, immediately start live streaming, and then after the live stream, Try to do some more and even Steve's having a tough time with the weight. Trying though. Like he's trying to do what I was doing yesterday, crabbing. So he's trying to keep his nose going one way and bring the rear end around. Come on, Steve, get together. You can do it, man. You can do it. Come on. Come on, Steve. Do it. in you man come on when these things start getting advanced AI the uh, chat G whatever they call chat GPT or whatever just later I can see in a few more years we we'll talking back to you oh yeah Think you can do any better? 
Well, then you take over. And I have new pronouns for you to use and... Gonna be real bossy. Man. Oh, that's so heavy. Come on. Transporter from dispatch. You still have time. Rush to the parking. Transporter from dispatch. Clear the runway and taxi to parking. I want to trust him, but again, he crashed. Taxiing. Don't know how or why, but he did. There's some really uneven um, areas on this runway, and there's some there's some uneven areas on uh, the taxiway, and that's what I think he did. I think he hit. I think he hit one of those big bumps and, and lost control. There's a couple in Denver that will send your plane straight up your nose will go like straight up in the air you gotta be very careful taxiing out uh in denver Pulling hard. I'm using full right rudder to keep myself straight. Uncontrollable. Nope, pulling so hard I can't control it right now. Gotta slow down. It's like the weight is all packed on one side. Easy. Easy. Okay, pilot. The cargo will be removed as quickly as possible. Oh, so, see what we get. So we made over 5,000 with the bonus. And you won. Or four. You at far. Hmm. A lot of emergencies going on at the moment. Nothing that I'm going to feel comfortable with. Four, four. 
Where is our best shot? Three hundred pounds of meat. Transporter from dispatch. You must deliver express packages before the deadline. Don't waste time. Transporter from dispatch. Loading express packages. Please stand by. Okay, pilot. The mail packs are good to go. By my calculations, you should just make it on time. Springs ground Kinias 2-1 with India request taxi to the active departure to the south. Kinias 2-1 taxi to and hold short of runway 17 left via taxiway cross runway tree 1. Contact tower on 1 tree tree decimal 15 when ready. Taxiing hold short runway 17 left using taxiway cross runway tree 1 Kinias 2-1. Uh, we don't need the full we don't need the full uh runway i'm gonna see what i can get away with just doing a half Now it's pulling the opposite way. I'll let go. We're in the field. That happens during takeoff. We could be in trouble. Springs Tower Kinias 2-1 ready at runway 17 left straight out departure. Kinias 2-1 altimeter 30 decimal 0 9 or wind 152 at 17. Departing straight out approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 17 left. Cleared for takeoff runway 17 left Kinias 2-1. Easy. Big bump, big bump.
Transporter, good flight. Oh, okay. Badum, 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 badum.
Yeah, a phone call one moment. Nope, not taking that one. They say a man's best friend is his dog. But my best friend is this bad boy. Yo, yo. Powerful stuff, folks, and it doesn't get enough attention, unfortunately. But coming up in the aftermath of Ron DeSantis' presidential announcement, NBC, of all places, has revealed some potential issues the Florida governor might have to answer after this. Steve is off course. The front line is brought to you by Birch Gold Group. Go to birchgold.com slash newsmax. Inflation is nothing more than a legal form of theft. Because with every new round of money printing, oh, I like Ron Paul. K or IRA is decreased through the dilution of the money supply. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Paul, and while you still can, I highly recommend you consider physical gold for your retirement account. Why? Because gold provides real wealth preservation that can withstand anything. Even better, with a gold IRA from Birch Gold Group, you pay no penalties or taxes when you transfer your current retirement funds. To learn more, my friends at Birch Gold Group will send you a free info kit on gold IRAs. Birch Gold is the only gold IRA company I trust. To get your free info kit on gold, go to birchgoldira.com. Call 800 758 Gold. There's no cost or obligation to get this kit. It's going, so he slowed down. Go to or call 800 Gold. It's really expensive these days to learn how to be a proficient firearm owner. Strikeman is a laser firearm training system that lets you practice your shooting skills at home without wasting money on ammo. The laser cartridge fits in your gun chamber like a regular bullet and fires a laser at the target. The Strikeman app records where your shots hit and stores all of your shooting data. Build training templates based on specific shooting drills you want to perform and watch your accuracy and shot times get better with time in the app. The app gives you graphs to show your progress and saves all of your previous shooting sessions that you can review anytime. They also give you individual shot breakdowns, beat personal records, and meet with friends and family to find out who has the fastest and most accurate shot. At a time where everything's more expensive, Strikeman gives you the freedom to train every single day without breaking the bank. The Strikeman system is only $79 that is affordable so a fantastic gift idea for those who take their firearm skills seriously put the power back in your hands with strike me hot flashes always come at the worst moments the ember wave i agree the hot flashes of the hot flashes are the worst relief backed by science and personalized by you try ember wave risk free for 60 days take 50 dollars off when you go to emberwave.com today get refunds.com powered by innovation refunds can help your business get a payroll tax refund even if takes eight minutes to call EPP. I went on their website, uploaded everything, and I was blown away. <laughs> what they could do. GetRefunds.com has helped businesses get over a billion dollars, and it can help your business, too. Qualify your business for a big refund in eight minutes. Go to GetRefunds.com to get started. Powered by Innovation Refunds. All right, folks, as I said last night, I'm going to call this race as I see it, better or worse. And DeSantis rolled out a campaign. It was just a matter of time, obviously, before people could began scrutinizing absolutely everything about it. And whether they find, well, in a, let's call it a rare stroke of journalism, NBC broke a story about a potential real problem for the governor in both perception and the legal world. The issue is that Ron, ha as the sitting governor, has business with these lobbyists. Everyone does. Every elected official does at some point or another. All right, now imagine yourself as a lobbyist trying to get something passed guy who is making the decision for your client ask you for a political donation or campaign donation any reasonable person in the world would be worried like hey look if i don't donate will he ice me out do i not get the job done for my client puts them in a tough spot ethical concerns if i do donate does it look like pay for play what do you do so trump is absolutely going to pummel him on this remember trump self-funded his campaign in the beginning giving himself enough seed cash to not have to rely on literally anybody because of that, like the high volumes of small dollar donations funded his entire campaign. He raised like more money from little donations. Than what you're hearing in the background is Newsmax. Part of his appeal was that he wasn't beholden to anybody. That's still part of the appeal. Any donor 
orders and that, it, you know, all those stuff that, you know, the special interest groups didn't have any sway over it. They didn't need it. But Ron does. Then that, that's what's going to be on Trump's buffet of offensive attacks. Joining me now to discuss former Trump campaign aide Rick Gates. And I, I, uh, like, yeah, like so many Americans, I wish we could just get rid of money altogether. Like, it make just make it illegal, period. Just, I wish we could just take money out of the equation. You know, and another thing that, uh, you know, one of the things today, let me uh, turn this down. So one of the things I heard on the news today, I don't know, I was just, as, as I said, I was just driving. When I drive, I just turn on the news, whatever channel's coming in clearly or seems interesting. And there was a, News reporter talking about a, a group of lobbyists that are out there that are, um, their whole goal is to create infighting amongst a political party. So they will, and they're actually using taxpayer money for it. So they go out and they request money from the government because they're doing something political. They use that money to create political infighting in another political party to diminish their power and get everybody broken up. And I have to say that it almost seems like that's what's going on because everything was going so well. And the idea of two superpowers joining together was on everybody's mind and that's the way everybody's thinking and that's what the people want you know two superpowers to join up to take us forward and and they have completely destroyed all of that they have caused so much infighting now amongst a political party that it's just so unfortunate and then the other side just you know running rampant with whatever they want to do and uh or just i feel that our uh it's like we're off the tracks and i really wish we could uh get it back to good if it ever really was you know that's you know and then i heard oh then they just laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh once they've created all this infighting amongst another party and that's that's what it feels like that they're just laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing because they put us in this position to where the two guys that if they teamed up it's like batman and uh, superman and batman you know Got two super, super powerful superheroes on our side. And now they've got them fighting each other. And now we're all yelling at each other. And they've got us all split up. They're just laughing and laughing. And, um, I wish we could do something to reform everything, our whole political system in the United States to where it was ethical and honorable and there's no money involved and you can't have money involved and you can't lobby and you don't have to have campaign, you know, like like the British do. I've heard that they only allow like a million dollars. That's it. You get a million dollars campaign, everybody has a million dollars. That's it, period. Any more than that, and no, you're out. Everybody's such a player and a hustler and uh and anybody that it seems that can find a way to be corrupt is corrupt, you know. Every single day, it's like, oh, this guy's getting busted for corruption, and this guy's getting busted for corruption. 
that person over there on that party and this person on this party and So I don't know what we're going to do, folks, but we, we need to do something. Because things just aren't working for us anymore. That's for that's for sure. Do 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 do. Don't miss Greta's new show. I like Greta. I've been taking the balance of nature for over 25 years. The balance of nature gives us 31 feet. Clear to land runway eight left. Clear to land runway eight left. Kitty is two one. Shame. So now they have a self-reporting system on YouTube. So when you set up a video or something, if you've set up a video, you know what I'm talking about. We have to like... State whether your video contains anything controversial or... You know? Basically, do you... are In this video, do you have an opinion on things? Uh, it's been very sad over the years watching YouTube kind of go the way it's gone. And uh, instead of being a force for good in the world, um, just, just, just destroying people that are out there trying to do the right thing or discover the truth about things so before 2012 um before anything like Q existed or anything like that we used to be able to use YouTube to do our own self journalism to do citizen journalism and you still can I mean I just don't think you're gonna get very well get anywhere now and they've chased off and destroyed most of the uh, the greats from the past and um, in my opinion yeah this might be a little bit controversial but to me there are truths there were truths out there that they have that they have 
that they've covered up and they've made us we are not allowed to talk about the truth on certain subjects and you will be destroyed if you question the narrative on certain things I, I know one in particular we spent months and months and months and months thousands of youtubers all collectively working together to discover the truth about something and these are these are great people just average people like you and I all working together putting our time together to, to try to discover truth and I believe we had discovered truth on a certain one topic in particular and uh, it was so big and so different from the narrative that was being pushed that they shut everybody down on YouTube and they started implementing these hardcore censoring rules and uh, people were getting threatened and just everybody's hard work on the subject over time we could have built a really strong case between us all for people that are interested in discovering the truth and um they've gone out of their way to make sure that everybody who is still out there speaking about it is destroyed one one man in, in one man in particular who it was was like a figurehead whether he was part of the group or not he he, he represented kind of a group of people seeking the truth they went after him and they destroyed him so hard and they're still at it you know trying to uh, win lawsuits against him for more money than anybody in the world has to make a point and that is this that's one of the toughest things ever in life to deal with is all you're out there doing is trying to find the truth and when you recognize that and you're supposed to be able to speak your mind in this country about anything even if you're wrong so when when they go out of their way to destroy somebody so completely and you watch them destroy people in such a way that nobody will make it so bad we'll uh, we'll hit them with a lawsuit so hard that, was a that even if you're a rockefeller even if you're the richest person in the world we'll t we're gonna we'll we'll take everything we're gonna take everything that you have that your kids have and any uh, family that you have for the next hundred years we're gonna take everything you owe so much money that 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 kind of thing to where it's wow I better not have an opinion about that And for an American to say that or to feel that, for an American citizen to have to internalize that, or when I'm coming out here, I, you know, I want to put on the news and give us something to do when we're in the flight. You know, I can't play music and I don't have any games or anything. I don't know what to do other than what I normally do when I'm transporting. And that's just, you know, listen to the news and. If I'm with somebody, we usually we're talking about it. But as an American being told you, you can't, it's just, it's the hardest thing to take. It's so hard.
So, although it's just a news channel that we're listening to that I had on the background, Newsmax. Although it's just a news channel. Some of the opinions, I mean, this everything is so polarized now. Either us or them. And both sides are just playing so well. One, I have to say one side's playing dirty to the other, but that's controversial. So you get in trouble for for that. My point is it's just the news. <laughs> but if it's coming from any other news channel than the ones that somebody likes, well now it's controversial. Oh, you mean you're listening you're you're <coughs> you're listening to newsbacks and you're you're agreeing with the newsmax commentators or presenters. Well, that means that you're blah, 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 blah. And we don't like you. And uh, again, as an American, you know, that's the last thing you want to hear from any, from especially from another American. Oh, yeah? Well, you listen to them? Well... We're going to destroy you. That's not the way, that's not what our country is meant to be. And when I was growing up, <clears throat> way before I ever got into politics and stuff, you know, I'm just an artist, man. I, my, my highest aspiration in life at one point was to draw a comic book. You know, I'm a simple person. I... Politics, I don't, you know, never really cared. But watching all, you know, adults and just, you know, just paying attention in general to politics over the years growing up. Yeah, everybody was cool, man. Didn't matter. I mean, it was still heated. But, hey, all right, your side won this four years. Congratulations. Let's get let's get back to work. Let's do what we got to do. Next year, hey, now your guy won. Congratulations. Now let's get back to work and get some stuff done. And it was always cool to, you know, hey, you vote for who you vote for and cool, you did your civic duty and that's that's all you can do. And now, as an American, you're told, hey, if you don't like the way, uh, you don't vote the way we vote and you're the enemy. And that's that's not the way things are supposed to work. So, and if they, you know, and it's gotten so bad that, yeah, now the average citizen is polarized. Somebody like me. And I'm to the point where, yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, now if you're on that side, I don't, I don't like you. They've, they've, they've got all of us. Just Another cargo mission completed. Thanks. We'll see you soon. When every one of us should be like, hey, you know, forget it. If you're... I may not like, you know, the way, uh, the way you want, you know, what you believe. If we're Americans, if we're, you know, if we're at least saying, look, I'm, I'm espousing American ideals and my beliefs, and I believe that we should do this. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm an American, and I have kind of different beliefs, and but we're both, you know, we believe in in the, the founders. We believe in the country. We, you know where we consider ourselves Americans. And uh, I w at one point with, you know, um, I don't know, just, it's, it's just crazy. That's all I know. It's crazy. So I really want to keep, uh, it's my natural go-to to want to, to, to listen to music when I'm in between lights are driving and uh i can't every time i go put it on i have this discussion here and i'm like uh i, I can't talk about anything because any every subject is polarizing today 
And uh, no matter what my viewpoint, somebody's going to be angry and I'm going to get my <laughs> my channel flagged and One hundred and ninety six. We're so close. One more trip and we've got our two thousand. So two hundred thousand. Let's see if we can find another four. Of course not. There's a three nine. Two KFCS. So that is our biggest money-making opportunity right here. 299 pounds of fruit. Let's dump what cargo we have. 299. Go right in there and see what we get. deliver express packages before the deadline this time don't waste time they need that meat captain we have some crates marked as urgent we'll load them now Ooh. I hope I didn't mess it up by turning on my engine while they were loading What? Transporter. Cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. What? It's time to take the gunway and take off. We've got conflicting things going on. That'll end in five minutes. <sighs> well, we'll Um, let me pick another one to see if we can stack one. We can take this, take this person with us. No, nope, can't stack. Can't stack any of these. So the mission that we're on only required 299 pounds, but here payload required. That's another thing that I need to discuss with them because I don't know why now the payload required here is 469 pounds. I don't know uh, why they don't sink properly on the weights. Because if it was only 299 pounds, <coughs> there we, we're set right there. <coughs> That's what we needed. <coughs> and then I can um, either take a passenger or I can keep increasing the weight to get a bonus. But with 469 pounds to start, yeah, we only get a plus 73 bonus. So another thing to jot down and, and bring up with the makers of this thing because I I would like to understand the logic Put it that way I wish YouTube would put Kitty is two one taxi to an hog short of runway eight right. See a taxiway Charlie Cross runway three five alpha. Contact tower for one one nine or decimal one when ready. I wish YouTube would put together a service.
they've got the uh youtube music subscription right so you could you can get a, a youtube music thing right something like that to where okay if i have the youtube music then i like youtube radio let's just something cool like that youtube radio imagine that so if I have a YouTube radio subscription, I can tune in to YouTube radio while I'm live streaming. And I can play YouTube radio in my live stream with no problems, no complications, no copyright strikes. Another thing, YouTube will also allow certain movies to be free. But you can't play those movies. See, that was another thing I like doing. When I'm doing my airliner flights, right? So I'm doing long airliner flights and I'm doing nighttime flights. Okay? There's nothing to see. You're flying by instruments for the most part. Everything you're practicing is, is instruments. And so you want to make things interesting, not only for yourself, but for your passengers. I'm very big on wanting a, a, a real life passenger add on for Microsoft flight simulator, not sim passengers. I don't want sim passengers. I want real passengers. So I would like to be able to create a social hub when I'm in the air by inviting passengers on and they can all interact with each other and have a good time as passengers on board of a, an airplane. And part of passenger flights are usually like, you know, and another guy like they used to have in-flight movies. And now they've got, you know, watch your own programming with your own little thing on the chair in front of you. <clears throat> but the idea of in-flight movies, and I, I tried doing that a couple of times. And I, I did it at Christmas time. I reserved it just to do it at Christmas. And I've got a copyright strike against me that will never go away. For playing a free, not even a a popular movie I went with something that was not really even well known you know just some obscure Christmas movie to put on during a flight and now I have a copyright strike against my account that will never go away they immediately shut down my live stream and I so every time I go into my YouTube studio I get to look at Hey, you've got a copyright warning against your channel for playing something that we had for free. I mean, I kind of get it because we're like, what if in a month we want to start charging for that one? Well, now it's part of your live stream and yada, 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 yada. <clears throat> The same kind of thing you know hey, can i can i get a subscription to allow certain contents be mixed in other people are doing it i don't know who they uh you know sleep with at youtube to be able to do what they do but any one of us if we try that it doesn't work i think you know who we're talking about a lot of them Oh, you're able to do it you can you can play whatever you want to play you can play music but I can't so you play music and you talk about it but if I do it I'm not allowed to and what's the difference between you and me Well, I can see only, the only thing that, that I can figure at the moment is like, you know, well, I see one big difference between me and you. That shouldn't be a big difference between me and you, just, but there's a big difference between you and me.
So some days it doesn't even feel... It doesn't feel fair. I've been with YouTube since day one, pretty much, almost. I have, uh, before Google bought it. And we were always working with the, the creators to try to <clears throat> create the greatest rules for everybody and always proposing well let's try that what about this and what about this what about this always brainstorming to try to make it better and better and better and how things could work and we were already discussing the proper ways to do collaborations and to deal with all this copyright stuff. 15 years ago, 15 years before they actually rolled out collaborations, which I still think are, things are still kind of weird, whether they've got share set up. And, you know, with this advanced AI, they can pick out a single squeak in a video to flag you for using copyrighted material. So they've got the most, the world's greatest AI already working to discover, but it's never, it's always to punish. Oh, you're using this and we're gonna punish you. Oh, you're using that, we're gonna punish you. It's never the same AI going, okay, you're using that in yours and he's the guy that owns it and you're monetized so x x x point that that dot goes to him and you can dispute that if you want Have a nice flight. but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna punish you i'm not gonna uh shut you down and i'm not gonna uh make you remove it because <clears throat> ultimately he's getting his or she's getting hers, right? You'll get yours, but they got to get theirs too. And depending on how much cloud, I suppose that other person has, you know, they might even be entitled to more. Well, you use something that was really, really super popular. So for this particular live stream of yours, you know, you're not going to be making so much, but you can dispute it if you want. Okay, cool. And you can remove it if you want. All right. But we're gonna, not going to destroy you for it. And up till now, I, that's really the way it has been, especially for me. I tried doing it. And, I, and again, it was with them for, from the start and trying to make sure that everything worked right. And I got hit so hard by doing things that they had set up for us to do so here's an example YouTube and Universal Music Group in a news press news pr in a press briefing declared Man, we're what's going on here? We are losing power. I'm trying to get my power back up and get us balanced out here. So in a in a press briefing, they announced that they're partnering up to allow people to create music videos with Universal Music content. And so scrambling to learn how to work with both of them, how to learn how to work with YouTube and Universal Music Group to do just that. Nothing nefarious. I'm doing what they are trying to do. I'm, I want to do that. You're going to do that? Oh, I want to do that. I would love to do that. And 
And so then I contact Universal Music Group, and they're like, well, we don't have any any sort of paperwork for anything like that. We don't couldn't couldn't tell you how or what we're going to do. Go ahead. Okay. I was demonetized for 14 years. And I just stuck it out. I'm like, you said we could do this. I I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, we'll do this and do this and do this and do this and do this. Said YouTube. Okay. Okay, no problem. I'll do that and 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 do that. And then five years go by. And you keep reminding them, hey, they have that dispute form. You have a dispute with us? Would you like to have us re-review your case? Yes, please. Yes. Every year. Yes, please. Yes. And the way it was set up is they don't have to answer you. They don't have to tell you why. Even though they asked you to jump through all these hoops to do all these things... To be compliant with what you know then all of a sudden one day it's like they hired some new person the day that I that I filed my uh, my um, whatever you call it you request a new review to Well, they'll, we, where they will review your case. Sorry, if I'm not, if I keep pausing, it's because um they're talking. All right, so so it did everything they wanted. I finally uh. Uh, it's a request for them to review your case, basically, and make a determination if you know it, it, you can stop being punished. And so, all of a sudden, I put in my yearly request, and I got back, and oh my, oh my, from somebody, literally. Somebody really looked at my case and the first text words back from them were, oh my. You've been demonetized for 14 years. Yes. Yes, I have been. I am so sorry, this person said. Your account is immediately reinstated. Oh my. Yeah, I got put, I got tucked into a, sh into a drawer somewhere. And whoever had been in charge of those drawers for the, over the years, they weren't doing their job right. Or whatever, I don't know. They don't tell you what the issue is, what the problem is, or 
hey, you know what? Or, or even something as simple as, you know, this is still in litigation. We've got lawyers trying to figure out this and that and this, you know. Oh, okay. Either way, it's fine now. But now, that goes back to one little mistake if you make now instead of trying to like let's resolve it how do we work this out how do we uh what all that let's be creative right let's be creative nope copyright strike no not that kind of creativity but they're doing it This place, man. So oh, I, I love it, love it, love it. I've always loved it. I, I love it, but. I'm loving this rain. I'm hearing it too in the real world. It's uh it is all around me like it is out here. That what you're seeing out in front of you here is what I'm experiencing right now. This is all live weather. And uh it is coming down and the thunder outside. Occasionally I'll cast catch a you know, some lightning lighting up things love it thank you so much for the rain thank you so much for this rain praises be glory hallelujah we need it we we need it thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Yeah, that cow over there, he particularly needed that little place where you're dumping. Hmm. In general aviation, if you don't have instrument flight rating, you're you're not allowed to be anywhere near these. Like, if you see a cloud and you're heading to it, you've got to do whatever you. It is on you to stay away, 500 feet minimum, like in all directions, up above it, below it, whatever. Get away from it. Don't go near it. Stay away from it. So if this was strictly a uh, hmm. visual flight rules flight, yeah, this is exactly what I have to do. I have to go around it, and my airport's just going to be ahead. We need to get through it, you know, and the, the area where we're going. And because it's all the way to the ground almost, Makes things ter terribly difficult. It can be very dangerous for people that aren't completely comfortable with their instruments and have a, a good understanding of everything. You know, the terrain, um, they, they, they know everything. They know the, the altitude they're at. They know the altitudes of all the terrain around them. 
or using things like sky vector or any other um things that you can use in the aircraft to be aware of your surroundings yada 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 So yeah, there's one thing that I, I think it's really cool that um, that people like Universal Music Group and others have said, yeah, go ahead and make music videos. But then the only thing I, I don't like is if, if you're very, very creative and you put a lot of time and effort into creating something wonderful, you're still collaborating and you're putting forth your effort and you get to put the video up. Um, but they, to this day, as far as I know, especially with all mine, they take 100% of the monetization. They won't share anything with you, and I, I don't feel that that's right. Right? Even if you were to say, okay, well, it has to have a million views first, and then we, we'll, we'll start cutting you in on a percentage of monetization. And... I don't think that that's right that yes you're using the concept but you're you're also have created your own intellectual property your own copyrightable stuff not just adding text you know wow I created a, a lyric video for and I'm all about lyric videos don't get me wrong but if you're just creating a lyric video yeah I get it yeah you use uh, well you know a lot of creativity there but if you're creating artwork and animation and, you know, you've created something that is its own little work of art. Then they should after, after 14 years and over millions of views. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we, why don't we, uh, catch you in, you know, it's too good. It's too, it's too, nobody's complained. Nobody's, they've got it the way that they want it. And it's such a good deal for them. Just call this the complainers channel. Visibility. Why left traffic runway one seven left in Kenyan? Hey, that's nice. We have a rainbow. See that? A little bit of hope. Always hang on to some hope. I, I do. One of these days. Things will maybe be more just, fair, and uh, wonderful. Thank you for Rainbow. 
Uh, it's very nice. A double rainbow again. Started out with one. We're gonna end with one. Gotta hang on to hope. Keep wishing good things. Keep trying. Keep positive attitude. So yeah, in a case like this, in the past, if we didn't have our VOR set, any distance measuring equipment, there's no, there's no landing uh, zone like that. You know, there's no HUD like that for the most people in real life for you to, to find your way. Uh, before I became instrument rated, I, I would tell myself I'm comfortable enough flying in different weathers that I wanted to test it. I wanted to try low visibility flying without really being fully instrument rated yet. <laughs> foolish, 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 foolish. If you have enough instrument rating and you're you're great with navigation, if you're good with navigation and the charts, um, finding waypoints, hitting way, hitting your waypoints, finding your waypoints, getting your radials and getting your distances from VORs. If you can do all of that, you're you're an ace. You can uh, you'll never have any problems. It's amazing how um, once I started learning that, how uh, much more confident in flying airliners because sometimes things mess up and you you do you do mess up. You do have to uh, abort the landing and go out to a VOR and find a hold or find a fix and get to it and make your way back. Learning to fly the DME arc is is a valuable, valuable lesson. It's not taught in the simulator training. I recommend it so much, though. Get yourself, a, you know, a nice your steam gauge plane. Have a couple of nav radios, okay, and um, watch videos on how to do a DME arc. What that means is. You're going to come in for a landing on a runway, but you're going to use your a VOR and you're going to follow a VOR path that, that creates an, an, a, an arc in the sky. And if you're going at the proper speeds and you're using your distance measuring equipment and you do it right, you'll fly that arc perfectly and be in a position to land the airplane according to the regulations, the way that they want you to fly it. See, with all these in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we just shoot for these gates, these landing zones, and uh, and just, you know, just wing it. But it used to not always be like that. I think with GPS, it's more like this now, probably. But if you, I mean, I don't know that. I'm trying to think of, you know, what has felt like the most accomplishment. What gives you the greatest feeling of satisfaction or what gave me the greatest feeling of satisfaction in this whole journey, learning to fly. And that might be one of them. 
is being able to being able to do a DME arc. Triangulation is fun in general. I enjoy that. Using two uh two VORs and charts to find places on the map that have no fix. Being able to read charts in general, being able to do ILS landings. So many things were so hard for so long. I'm not a, sometimes not the smartest cookie. And it, and it takes a lot of time for things to make sense and with a lot of this flying stuff it's taken a long time for it to compute but I'm so happy these days now that it has because there was a time like I'm I'm never going to do this it's too hard it's too much to learn I'm I'm just not I don't think I'll ever get it And I was wrong. I finally get it. I, you know, just wanted to. I wanted to learn it, just sticking with it. Again, that's another reason why YouTube is one of the greatest things ever. <laughs> because there just wasn't enough information available when I first started to help me get through it all. And there's people that take advantage of YouTube that are professionals to to teach you things even people that aren't professionals just you know guys like me over the years that are that have the skills guys that have the skills not like me uh, that put together videos in other simulators and just accomplished enough to to teach it the right way so just persistence of watching just putting on flight videos all day long when I'm sleeping it doesn't matter just load up a giant playlist of flight simulator training while I'm sleeping and then get up in the morning get the coffee I'm not doing anything start it over again start the entire playlist over again okay go to sleep turn the playlist back on I don't care I want it to be playing in the background I want my brain to be thinking about it whether it happens or not Just be obsessive about learning I you know what Talking about being obsessive. But I came in. Never mind. I came in on the run one wrong one wrong oh runway for a moment. A wrong one way. Well, that was the first contact with ground speed one for this plane has detached. Contact with one contact Oof. On one this plane is heavy. That was uh, uncontrolled there.
Where the heck is the, uh... I say as I do something you're not supposed to do. I'm not taxing properly. I'm just driving across the grass. Like, yeah, man. Practicing till you get it perfect. Learning all the rules to flying. And then how to break them. But. Should be able to do both. The rain effects nice. Getting muddy. There's our guy. Waiting for us in the rain. Hello, dudes. Okay. Oh. Tick tock, tick tock. Sorry, but time is up. Oh, you're kidding me. Even when I cut it. Uh. Let's get out of here. Oh no, we didn't get paid. <laughs> ah. Ah, I thought we had it. Oh. One second more. Denied. So it's up to me later tonight to just keep going and get over our 200,000. Time is at 416. I can use my, I can use my special powers to keep going and make it the not raining. Ah, uh, this game, man. Funny. So yeah, I live just, just, just a couple miles that way. So that that is this is what it is like outside at the moment. It is rumbly and overclassed. Uh, over and thundering and windy I can hear the wind now definitely a thunderstorm low rumbling thunder yeah see that indicator right there security wide field It's nice living in a place called security. It used to not be that way in the like late eighties and nineties. You know, when the uh, when gangsterism became popular, just Way to bring everything down. Uh, but most of those turkeys have all grown up now. And most of them are now like, oh, my God, we're so sorry that we were 
stupid like that. And it's nice to see that when most people become adults, they realize the how silly it was. And, uh, you know, now they're coaching Little League. And, and that's great. Thank you. I'm glad, you know, and now I'm like, man, now we don't like that stuff at all. And we hate seeing it, you know, in uh, security now and in this, in our, in our community. Yeah. We hated you. That's for sure. You guys turn this place into the pit from hell. Oh, thanks for the apology. I know I say it all the time. I'm really looking forward to Manor Lord and uh, trying something new. Um, I have an old copy of Battle for Middle Earth 2. I think I prefer Battle for Middle Earth 1, but I think 2 had you know better controls. I was thinking about checking that one out again, but maybe. Um, I've got Baldur's Gate 3, but it doesn't really release for a couple more months. So all the good content in it it hasn't really happened. If you're into Forgotten Realms, it's really cool. Um, we're actually playing D and D with some friends. Uh, with some friends, we're playing some D and D with some friends, and um, I love it because what we're currently playing and where we're currently playing. It's right next to all the activity that's going on in Baldur's Gate 3. So we're in this current 5th edition timeline. We know what's gone on over in El Torel and yada, yada, yada. And it's so cool because, you know, these are the areas that we're getting ready to go into. I like it. I'm just kicking back and having a cigarette before I end the live stream, ch ch chatting with you a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not going to continue anymore. Uh, I might later tonight, but, uh, uh, it being Friday, I want to, uh, do domestic things and then people want to have barbecues tomorrow. So, you know, uh, domestic things. You know, trying to make the uh, the great lady happy, going and do stuff like making sure everything's clean, vacuumed, dusting, whatever. I normally do almost all the cooking as well. Even though she is now, I think, a, some days, I was going to say, she's now a better cook than me. Eh. Nah, some days and she can she can bake her rear end off and I don't I don't bake but I've done a lot of cooking and I did a lot of cooking through you know growing up and in college and high school done a lot of time it's an easy job mindless you know it was mindless for me you know easy easy work and wonderful work and if you're working with good people restaurant restaurants have always been fun for me not a bother at all. It's nice. Even when kitchens are busy, busy, it's just comfortable. It's fine, fine. So when we got together, she didn't know how to cook. And, uh, She's been really great inspiration for me over the years. She, when she sets her minds on something, she gets a, somewhat obsessive about things. And we'll, and uh, with cooking, once we said we were going to get married, she wanted to learn how to cook. Uh, I've been married for 
seems like forever decades so for decades every week she goes to the library and brings home a cooking book or 10 every week for 30 years or a subscription to a cooking uh, magazine or four or five of them and the television's always on you know when she's watching TV at least in the early days cooking show she knows all the chefs she knows all the restaurants she could talk about cooking for days Is it really crooked like that? The text? Is the eye really? No, I, I'm gonna have to look up the that insignia or that patch there or whatever you call that and see if it, did they really put the text like that? Really? You didn't put the air, the L in the middle? And just stretch things out a little bit over here, push, pull a little bit there. You drop the eye right down there in the middle like that and make those all crooked. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Okay. Well, we didn't make it. We were so close. And then just inches. I'll I'll uh I'll jump back in here after I get my domestic things done. And I'll uh, get over that tonight. But Fortunately for this live stream, we did not make it. So, sorry about that. Did the best we could. And I will, uh, tomorrow again, everybody wants to do barbecues and other things. So maybe tomorrow afternoon, late evening, I'll be back. Uh, yeah. Please like and subscribe. I know you're like, well, is that, this is what it's going to be. You're just going to be complaining all the time. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, for a while. Could we try something else? I don't know. I don't know if this is for me or not. It seemed really cool. And maybe it'll start getting more interesting. But the prices on things, I mean, this is literally a, a career now. Yesterday, we put in uh, almost a seven-hour day. And just really didn't get anywhere, really. Doesn't feel like it. So I don't, I don't know if I'm, uh, I mean, um, it is quite literally a career now. You're going to have to work and work and work. As you see in these live streams, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. I'm off.
Have a great Friday night. Have a good time tonight. Be safe out there always. Good night.